Hey guys, it's Kristen with Indie Hip Chick and I am back with my bomb makeup haul. For those of you guys that don't know, we are currently in the middle of our bomb challenge, which is black owned makeup brands. So we are only purchasing beauty and skincare products from black owned makeup brands for, until the beginning of March. So we thought we'd come in periodically and show you guys all the cool new items that we've picked up. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with this whipped body pudding by the AGM Body Shop. It's an Etsy shop from a girl that I actually went to school with. She has some body puddings and a beard oil and hemp salve. This was my first time trying any of her products, but I absolutely love this pudding. Um, I got the lavender scented one. It smells great and it makes my skin super soft. When I first got it, um, I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it because it definitely left my skin feeling really oily when I first put it on. But if you put it on right after you shower, and give it five to ten minutes to kind of soak in then that oiliness goes away and it just leaves your skin so soft and smooth and it is great for those indiana winners next up i will talk about my ambi rose brush kit um, i got the eight eye brush and four face brush set and i've heard a lot about these on youtube and just random blogs online and they are super super soft like they're amazing um, the face brushes are very dense so they're really good for buffing and overall I would say it's definitely worth the price. Great brush set, especially for beginners because it gives you a lot of variation, a lot of variety to play with. Next, I've actually had this for a while but this is the Fashion Fair Perfect Finish Cream Makeup Foundation and I've had this probably for... I don't know I've had it for a long time but it's a really good foundation it's cream it gives you really good coverage um, I have some scars on my face from like acne and stuff and it covers them flawlessly I love it it's a really great product next I have some AJ crimson goodies I will start off with this bamboo loose powder it's like a yellowish tinted powder I usually use it to set my under eye concealer um, it's really good for oil blotting as well so throughout the day if you get oily especially like around the t-zone or on your cheeks if you just dab a little bit of this on and then brush off any excess it'll help soak up that oil and just bring you back to that matte finish great product um, I also got the AJ Crimson match me kit it is a foundation kit with 11 different foundation samples and two color correctors and one highlight um, basically just to kind of help you play with the different colors and see which color you want to buy before you purchase the full size foundation um, this is the size of the sample it's actually pretty small and I was kind of nervous about it when I first got it but I've gotten at least three full face applications done from one of the little samples and I was able to pick a color that worked for me so all in all I would say that it's worth the price don't be shocked when you see this tiny little sample you can definitely get a few um, applications out of it so it's good for the money next is the AJ Crimson liquid lipstick I got it in the color boy bye I like this color it has it's like it's a very rich color but the only thing that I will say about this is if you're gonna use it um, if you're gonna rub your lips together make sure you do it as soon as you put it on and then let it completely dry because if you rub them together while it's still kind of tacky then like some of the color will pull off and it'll look splotchy and it won't look really good but if you put it on and leave it alone and let it totally dry then I think you'll get good coverage and it'll last pretty much all day next up is the Pat McGrath metal morphosis kit um, I got silver and copper so each kit comes with a baked eyeshadow and then a creamy eyeshadow. Um, they also come with a dual ended eyeliner and then some Mayron mixing medium. I didn't include the Mayron mixing medium because I wanted to keep it to only the products that were actually black owned so I left that out of this but um, for the eyeliner there's one tip that's really pointy and fine tipped. And then there's another that's a more chiseled, kind of like a marker looking tip. Um, both of these are really great, especially for creating like a wing liner or if you just want a really crisp black line, this is a really great eyeliner for that. And also, um, it dries quickly. So I have hooded lids, so sometimes when I deal with uh, 
liquid eyeliner if I don't give it enough time to dry if I open my eyes too quickly then some of it will transfer onto my lid but with this one it literally just takes a few seconds it's dry it's not going anywhere great product and then to finish up I ordered some boy repellent from Beakbox um, it kind of starts out looking like this and then if you swirl it around it gets like this shimmery mica mixed all into it um, so this can be used as a setting spray or as a primer and you just mist it on uh, I was kind of nervous about this when I first got it because there's a lot of shimmer in here and I didn't want my face to just be a glittery mess um, but the first time I tried it I actually used it as a primer and as a setting spray but I used it kind of sparingly and I didn't really notice a bunch of glitter like I could tell there was a little glow to my makeup but I didn't notice like any huge chunks of glitter or anything that made me too concerned um, I also ordered some loose glitters from Beak Box, and I mean these are nice they're just glitter and I love a good sparkly look so I couldn't resist them I think they were two dollars sometimes they have them on sale for one dollar so you really can't beat that and I mean as we know glitter a little bit goes a long way so these will definitely last me for a good amount of time but that is basically it for my haul this month um, if you would like to see a tutorial with the fashion fair foundation or this AJ crimson loose powder I have some that are either up now or will be up shortly so stay on the lookout for those you can check out our um, holiday December bomb makeup look I use some of these products in there and then just stay on the lookout because we'll be using more of these products showing you how to apply showing you some cool looks that you can do with them and eventually we will have a full face of bomb makeup coming hopefully around March so that is about it for this video as always don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below and if you have any other um, products or brands that you think we should know about that are black owned please also leave those below we're always looking for new suggestions on those and we will see you in the next video thanks